The meaning of Abra Kadabra. Abra Kadabra is derived from the Aramaic phrase Avra Kadabra, meaning I will create as I speak. Avra in the Greek origin means an idealistic person. And what qualities would this idealistic person have? Could it be an angry father? That would be sarcasm. Avra is also written as Avri, with the meaning to create. Ab is cognate with Av, and cognate with Ev. Avra can either mean God's gift, or it means father or dad. Cognate with the Sumerian Ab, meaning father or lion. Evra also means anger. One could say we have a roaring lion. This Evra, anger, refers to being carried away by anger, almost as if it belongs to a roaring lion. Be sober-minded and alert, as above, so below. To be carried away with anger would be the gift of God. The question should be, which God is it? Abracadabra reveals your answer. In Greek mythology, Avra was used for the name of a titan goddess, Avra. Avra became Aura. Aura was a resident of Phrygia. He who hath an ear is open to the wisdom of understanding. Aura, the mighty hunter, she was the aura of the wind maid. As fast as the wind, the mountain maiden of Ryan Dakos, a man like virgin. Man, I feel like a woman. Do 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 do. <coughs> who knew nothing of Aphrodite, meaning she is the opposite of love. The aura is bright, but here there is no light. Avra Aura was a huntress who ran down the wild bear and ravening lions, and unkind to the notions of unwarlike maidens. Yeah, very Akkadian, isn't it? Later, Zeus transforms her into a spring. No, that would be Mamu Hubu, equal to Mother Zeus. Mamu also meaning art, quite possibly Artemis. In another account, Dionysus is made mad with desire for aura, made mad for desire for anger, by an arrow from the bow of Eros, Eros the Cupid. The origin of Greek madness. The cursed arrow is equal to the stinger of Scorpio, The abracadabra connection to the Aramaic language is possibly incorrect. I think it would be better explained as a stepping stone. The Gnostic Gospels were similar to the Babylonian script transferred into the Greek language. The new scriptures are not Greek. They are reformed for the Greek civilization. And this may be no different for Aramaic. This is not the first time, not the last either. Abracadabra from Hebrew The source for Abracadabra is derived from three words. Ab, father, ultimately being Sumerian. 
Ab also meaning lion, father being Ab or Av. Ben meaning sun, derived from Mulban, the bow star from heaven, Mul meaning lord, Ban would be the sun, the second sun, derived from the bow star from heaven. Yeah. The origin of Anzu, the flood storm weapon. Anzu meaning divine storm bird, coming by the way of water, equal to the stinger of Scorpio and the spirit in the waters. The third is Ruach Achadosh, meaning Holy Spirit. So that would be the father of the flood storm weapon and father of the Holy Spirit. Alternatively, Ruach, meaning wind or breath, Achadosh, meaning spirit, or, or, or. The derivative of the name of the Gnostic leader. Abraxas, which means God, together meaning, the Lion Father is the Son of the Flood, the wind or breath of Abraxas. The Archons are the enemy. It would appear that the Father is the Son and the Holy Spirit. Abracadabra is possibly derived from the Persian Abraxas, the name of the Supreme Being, and the Chalde Aramaic word, the Utterance, so that the meaning of Abracadabra is a divine oracle, a divine storm bird. Don't forget the anger. Abraxas is possibly Aramaic, for this is the Great Seal, read backwards, and that was on page 33, as above, so below. Abraxas, Abracadabra, Abla Thanabla, Aban Nathabla, are various terms for Gnostic charms. The translations are disputed. They are probably Aramaic sentences. For example, Abrakhadabra, I bless the deed. Ablat Hanabla, I give life to the corpse. Abana Thabla, thou our father leadest, relating to an archon. The Persian sun god was discovered within the Greek letters Abraxas for Abraxas, representing in numbers 3, 6, 5, the days of the solar calendar. This word placed on an amulet or seal, exorcised evil spirits, and was explained by Samites, Abrashidabara, meaning go out bad spirit, to expel the foot of evil. An exorcism ritual identical to the Ishipu practice. The only difference is language, time, and understanding. Alternatively, as above, so below. Abrashidabara, go out, bad spirit. Abrak Ha'ash, I bless the man, but, 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 Ash meaning curse, wish, or desire, the mad desire of Shamash, of Dionysus. Ash meaning curse, Abrak Ha'ash also means I curse this man. cursed with a 365 day calendar, possibly created to align with the 365 Archons, as above, so below. 
Abracadabra was a contracted quotation from the psalmist's call on God. Remember, psalm means to twin, to double, a doublet, meaning as above, so below. Abracadabra was here used to cast forth lightning, Hebrew Barak, Barak, to scatter the evil. Barack Obama scattered 72 evil things a day. More than likely, if somebody wants to look, related to the word lightning, or related to the storm. On the contrary, to casting forth lightning, to scatter the evil, Abracadabra was the actual Aramaic or Greek name for a powerful demon. What a surprise! The name of a powerful demon. That would be Abraxas. Or could it be Tehut? As above, so below. In 1977, the book Abracadabra by Stephen Jay, we find a very familiar form that was later adopted by J.K. Rowling in the Harry Potter series. Abraxas being Voldemort, one does not speak his name. I do, because I don't give a shit. This abracadabra may be from Aramaic, Avada Kedavra, meaning may the thing be destroyed. J.K. Rowling, what a clever, um, woman. <coughs> The end conclusion must be that Abracadabra was not originally Aramaic, and although it refers to a gift of God, the psalm, the doublet, the twin, refers to a powerful demon, a king of many realms, as above, so below. This is not God, it is the gods. Gods wants demons. Abracadabra. Spells, spellings, defined as manipulation using words. Wizardry. Abracadabra. During the Renaissance, British culture was almost completely transformed. 